I'm going to explain to you how to calculate standard deviation using your calculator. Oh, let me introduce myself to you. I'm a student at Cape Peninsula University of Technology. I'm studying my chemical engineering. So here is your data, one, two, three, four. Now they ask you to calculate standard deviation. So what they, here is your calculator. You set it on. Then you go to s mode setups. The screen will appear. But you are looking for stat. Stat is on number two. You go there, you press 2, this screen will appear. All these things will appear, but you are looking for VAR. VAR is on number 1. You go to your calculator. Here is your number 1. When you notice the above number 1, there is that. You press there. This screen will appear. Now what you do, you insert this data. How do you insert that data? You press you press one. Sorry, my calculator is wrong, but this one is the equal sign. Say equal to. You press two. You say equal to. You press three. Say equal to. And you press four. You say equal to. You finish. You say you press AC. Now you go to step. You go to shift. I'm sorry. After shift, you come here. You press this one. Then this screen will appear. V, we were, we were, you were working with VR, VAR. Now, you, VAR is on number 4 this time. You press 4. Then this screen will appear. You are looking for standard deviation. Standard deviation is number 4, S of X. S of X is on number 4. You press number four. You say equal to. Here is a standard deviation. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. And now you won't be using those tables to calculate your standard deviations when you are dealing with your chemistry practicals. Then you have to calculate your standard deviation quickly. You just take your Casio calculator. Brrr, brrr, can any calculator you can perform this? Thank you. Bye. I love you.